Hey guys, this is Tina Oakley. And this is Paige Pierce. We're here at the 2018 U.S. WDGC Dynamic Doubles. This is in Lansing, Michigan, and uh, thank you Dynamic Disc for sponsoring the coverage. We are going to see Katka and Kristen, myself and Tina, and Zoe and Sarah Hokum tackle this course in Lansing. As you can already see, there were some fun outfits. <laughs> we had a blast. <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of fun, and Sarah and Zoe definitely got into character as Mario and Luigi. Starting us off on hole one. It's got an uphill hyzer. And Kristen first on the box. Kat comes a lefty. You'll see some really fun shots from her. Yeah, so this format we're playing is best shot, um, and we're playing from short pads. Um, this one is 335 feet, and like Tina said, it's uphill, so it's probably playing more like 360, 370, something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's, it's pretty far. Um, Tina and I used our rompers that Romper we stompers. also played in at Whistler Subs earlier this year. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd wear it again, but here we are. <laughs> oh, we're going to wear that many more times. Okay. Just you wait. <laughs> And Sarah, with the sidearm turnover, doesn't turn it quite enough, but she's rocking that Mario outfit. Zoe with a wide, flat shot that doesn't swing quite as much as she's hoping for, um, but she they'll have a little approach for a par. And with Sarah putting it right under, Zoe's going to be right. Yeah, this is okay, a tricky birdie out. for most of the field, um, just because it's so uphill and a blind shot. Luigi, does she have it? <laughs> Those costumes are so good. I love the glove, too. <laughs> yeah, just sticking out of her back pocket. Kristen from, I would say, right around Circle 2's edge. She kind of laughs it off as it wasn't even close. <laughs> you don't see her miss like that very often. No, so. very rare. Glad she can have a sense of humor about it. Yeah. Ooh. Kat kind of runs it. Good run, but left it a tiny bit low. As you can tell with all the smiles, this is already going to be a fun round, and we're kind of just excited just to be out here playing. Hey! That's my girl. Tina makes easy work nice out of this maybe 28-footer. A whale pants uh, ward in there. <laughs> We are going to take the solo birdie and move on to hole two with a one-stroke lead over these other two teams. I'm hoping we'll do this uh, from here on out. I think the first year we did it was last year we did dynamic doubles at uh, Tennessee, and it was a blast. So Yeah, it was the first time that the U.S. Women's Championships has had a doubles Short. Event since 2000, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Fairly it's short. It's a 254 thing. foot hole. You can't throw it short. I went easy. So Paige went long. <laughs> I threw my Tina suspect on that one. Cat Ooh, with a super dang. smooth backhand. Almost hits the bottom of the cage. And Kristen, she's throwing her harp here. She throws this on almost all of her approaches and a lot of these tee shots. So anytime you see that blue disc, know it's a harp. Did she throw a sidearm? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she Sarah. threw. She, that was on beautiful. this line, you can't really quite tell from the footage, but um, from, if you're looking from the tee, she throws this line so wide and super spike hyzer. Oof. Oof. Lots of runs there, except from us. <laughs> yeah, Zoe almost hit that one. Yeah, it was close. Ooh. Off the top. Little headwind kept it up a little. I actually felt pretty good about that. But yeah, it looked good. Right on line. I'm just going to lay that up. <laughs> no. <take> right <laughs> <through. Yeah. laughs> nice birdie. Zoe nice, making an easy birdie out of that. And Katka will do the same. So now these two got the birdies, but we were the only one with the birdies the last hole, so we are all going to be tied up going into hole three. Um, Let me borrow your putter. I remember that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, does anyone have a putter I can use? <laughs> we are kind of playing a tournament. Yeah, we were sharing a bag, so I kind of walked to the next tee with the bag already because I was uh, pretty distracted in the apple I was eating. <laughs> 
Kristen up first. She goes with the Heiser. It's pretty much the only play as the whole left side's blocked by these evergreens. So you're kind of going with a uh, Heiser or, um, yeah, just like a turnover for Katka. This hole's kind of tricky to reach. I actually like the long position better. Um, but there's this tiny tree. You can't really see it from this angle, but there's a very small tree on the right side, and it actually really gets in the way for the hyzer shot. You have to go wide of it. Yeah, like Sarah did. She went very wide left. You really don't even look at that option unless you're a forehand dominant player. Look at that mustache. <laughs> <laughs> the whole round they were screaming, of, it's the it's me. The me. <laughs> Underneath their overalls, insider tip, they have uh, little power-ups, like the flower power and the one-up and all that, so anytime they Ooh. got a birdie, they would rub on it. <laughs> <laughs> got a little tree help on that one, actually. Yep. Took some speed off and kicked it left. I'm going with my Eric Oakley felon here, wide and high, and hoping it drops in. Um, Eric Oakley, Kobe Geist, Fallon. Yes. <laughs> got a beneficial roll, too. Instead of a 15-footer, we got about a 3-footer, so it's always nice. Oh, I'll show you that tree I was talking about. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm the only one that has a problem with it, but <laughs> it is there. <laughs> yeah, it's the only obstacle to miss, so if you miss it, you're golden. If not, it's, you know, you're taking a par. But if really... not, you have a partner that parked it. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing this is double. <laughs> <laughs> Best part of the day. And we all take birdies there. Star birdies. This you're gonna actually see quite a bit of birdies. Not only is it doubles and it's best shot, but this course is a little bit short and we're playing the short pad, so short to short on this layout, so it made it really fun actually, because you really did have to score um really well to compete. Yeah, and you kind of got to see some, like, more aggressive runs after the first partner went and kind of parked it or, or like, ran a good putt, and, you know, the second partner had the green light to kind of do as they wished. Hokum, no surprise, with his sidearm. Came in a little high and left her a little right, maybe only, like, a 20, 25-footer top, so... Kristen and Katka were, I would say, within 15 feet or so. Yeah, of course. We got Ruby following us around, too. Zoe, one of the few backhands on this hole. She has a really good hyzer flip game and allows it to flip late right towards the basket. A little early branch there, not too bad. Yeah, it came out a little earlier than I wanted, left us pretty short. I was trying to throw Zoe's line, but I pulled it inside a little bit. And I think we're throwing the same disc even. Yeah. Fury. Yeah, stay up. Let's go! Woo! Oh, <laughs> That's my partner! <laughs> Tina actually carried us Thank you. all week at the Whistler Dubs tournament I was talking about earlier <laughs> and uh, on the putting ring. <laughs> I was not oh, surprised at all by this putt. I was drive. ready for it. Yeah. <laughs> and excited because that means I didn't have to putt. I was a tester for sure. It was fun. We all love making those ones. That's a great putt, too. There you go, Luigi. This is the putting world champion right here. You're going to see some good putts today. Kristen with the easy tap in for the birdie. Again, star frame. I played in Canada. I played recently. And when they had a star birdie frame, they would all go to the basket after they tapped out and just hold the chains at the same time. Huh, kind of like that. Yeah, it was funny. I liked it. We should have done that. Yeah. Ooh, I remember that bounce. It was kind of mean, but, you know, it's still about a 15-footer, so it's not too bad. Pretty much a perfect shot, so you can't be too mad. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Katka with the rare sidearm. She asked if it was okay if she did that, because she never throws sidearms, so. Yeah. Um, I was cool oh, to see that. Oh, that's a bad little skip. Yeah, this is a really short hole, so everyone's pretty much ace running it. It's 211 feet, and it's just a simple hyzer for the most part, for our, for us righties anyways. So everyone's just trying to ace it pretty much. Yeah, we all want to be within that little bowl. We shouldn't even have to worry about putting on this hole. I went a little wide on there. Not bad. Though. So good. Inside 15 is pretty good. Tina Suspect again. Hey. My go-to for these 200-foot oh! hyper shots. 
throw it a lot out here. We're up first, as you can see, but we're only like 12 feet away. So, like Tina said, this hole is um, pretty unchallenging. So, sorry for the lack of interesting <laughs> commentary on this one, Carrie. Well, I can say you see that little puddle right there under the uh, basket. It poured maybe three hours before this round. Yep. And Paige went out and played a round before in the pouring rain, and then it all went away, and it looked like a perfect day. <laughs> it was absolutely <laughs> downpouring. It was crazy. So, again, with the star frame, look at all that blue on the scorecard. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> Moving on to hole 6A. This one is our last shorty, so we're going to soak it up and hopefully see some ace runs here. Catch up! Woo! Parked it. Absolutely parked it. Silver's down by the basket, hoping to get a little catch cam of an ace. Yeah, I was hoping for two angles here. <laughs> yeah, that's that harp again from Kristen. She left it a little bit too tight, so she's going to be on the left side, but very makeable putt. Perfect sidearm from Sarah. Also parked it. <laughs> so we with a nice wide angle out there and a nice soft skip right towards the basket. I'm throwing my Tina and Eric Oakley Marshall. <laughs> it's just dead straight. I let it go a tiny bit late, but so it just stayed right there, but just so dead straight. What are you throwing there? Verdict, right? right so yep, verdict. So pretty far. beat in. Well, so far we're birdie in almost every single hole. And it is a... It is... It's a... It's a bad lay. But I'm about to uh, pull out the flower power. So we'll see how it goes. Fire. Pew, pew, pew. As you can see, there's that flower power thing I was talking about. They were soaking up this Mario and Luigi. They really took it on. And now you'll see some cleanups on this whole 6A, 233 feet. When you are playing best shot doubles with some of the best women in the world, you're not really going to have much of a challenge on a 230-foot hole. So, luckily... Hey, after we got this, the course starts to get a tiny bit longer and uh, definitely more interesting. Yeah, a lot more interesting. So we are all tied at five under par still. This hole might have a little bit of separation as there's a lot of different routes you can take. There's probably like six different options and different types of shots you can throw here. And, um,. I don't know if it's the first OB we've seen, but maybe it is. There's a patch of sand on the left side, um, as you can see on that left, which actually is definitely reachable. Um, it kind of forced Katka to come a little bit more inside instead of taking the wide route, So, but that brings the trees into play, so it's kind of like, which way do you want to air on? Sarah's throwing like the safest shot possible, just way out to the left side. No chance of OB, no chance of hitting a tree. I actually, I like that play. Yeah, and there's a longer I heard them basket talking too. about that too. She asked uh, Zoe before, like, do you want me to just play way out wide so play you can safe. go for the basket? Oh. oh. I think they got our drives on this. Yeah, they missed our drive, but oh. I went super wide, high <laughs> hyzer with my bio defender, really and is. Paige killed it. We got our... We got our birdie on this guy. Yeah. Um, and then I believe there were some upshots, so... Terry might have had his potty. You know, that's part of it. He had to go potty. Yeah. <laughs> I applaud you, Terry. You know, do what you gotta do. But yes, we did miss our drive. That was our birdie putt um, that Tina hit.
for everyone they're about to see? Uh, they're gonna see and they can judge for themselves. It's maybe, I'm European, so it's maybe 45 meters long. You cannot short. see it. Oh, sorry, 45 meters short. <laughs> yeah, and that's about it. Are you gonna ace it? Oh, sure. Okay. I'll both of us, that. both of us. Okay. All right, hole seven A. They had a couple like extra holes put in here. This one, you actually can't see the basket from the tee pad. And it is the hardest right turning hole I think I've ever had to throw. As you can see. You saw that angle that that <laughs> just, just came out angle. on. It's just, but it's also a low ceiling because there's this tree that's just super in the way. It's a very different hole. Yeah, I've never had so much trouble landing in the circle on a 185 foot hole. <laughs> Never. It really like, it took my number for sure. So and it was frustrating just knowing how short it was, but not being able to like, let your disc sit. I think Katka and Hokum have the advantage here as they don't have to turn their shot over. Um, they can just let it stable out and... It's still a tricky shot because you have to get it high enough, but you still... You still have that tree in your way. Yeah. I thought about the sidearm, but it's just so tricky. Woo. And Zoe oh, with the lefty guy. off the tee, right, um, she hit a tree, but it was a pure line. Um, barely missed that putt, too. Let's see if Hokum can get it. Oh, I laid it off. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember her saying, it's a short, or something like that. Just left it low. We stay on the birdie train and we'll take the lead going into the next hole. We're almost done with the front nine too, so you know every birdie really matters out here when they're almost all reachable. So <laughs> what's up what is she doing there? She was gonna putt from that other day. But why didn't she? <laughs> she could realize she one laid it up. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it was so much fun. It was hard to remember we were playing a tournament because we were just hanging out with friends the whole time. <laughs> Absolutely. Tina's got her captain. She uh, actually slipped on this tee pad quite bad. Yeah, I hurt my toe on this tee pad. We had to call in the backups. Eric. Partner. Let's go. This one has some OB right in front of the basket as well, but... Most of us can't reach it, but Paige is the exception. Yeah, I try. I, I actually push the OB on this hole, but if you put it wide enough and spiky enough, it won't skip. But if you have it a little too flat, it's definitely going to skip and bring the OB into play. You'll see it as we get up there. It's kind of blind from this angle right now. That's a good shot. Yeah, that's a great spot to be. There's really only two options if you want to go for the putt. One is where Kristen just landed, and one is where I landed. If you get right about there, where Hokum's landing, um, there's a, a cluster of trees in your way blocking the basket. Big run up from Zoe. That's looking like a smash. So they're forced, they were too short to kind of put it through that gap, so they were forced to throw a wide hyzer around the bushes on the right side. Yeah, I heard her saying something about having to go low and through that gap. An amazing shot. Yeah, an amazing shot. Katka with a good safe run, I think. Kind of gives Kristen the green light, but she doesn't quite get it up high enough, so... It's pretty far away. Yeah. <laughs> I had a good feeling about this putt, plus it was a fun one. We were both discussing this, so I wanted to get Tina it making it on camera. Tiny <laughs> little tunnel, and I really thought I made it. <laughs> it was close, and it was really fun, no matter what. Yeah. Partner, partner. Yeah, when you have two chances on that, we're not, no way, neither, right. both of us are missing it. Yeah, there's no not. way. I like those tunnel shots, it really makes you focus, just right on the chains. 
Absolutely. Get your disc through the gap on the right angle and it's going to find the chains. Pars on this hole is honestly pretty good. There's a lot of trouble you can find. I, I think it's, it's a tweener hole. For yeah. sure. If the, if the tee was maybe 40 to 60 feet farther back, I think it would absolutely be par four. Sure. So we get to stay on the birdie train again. We are now eight under with a two stroke lead over Kristen and Katka for the round so far. And Tina throws her verdict. What was this? Oh, she comes cool. in a little low. It was this gap is so hard to hit. That shot was nearly perfect. It just came in a tiny bit low. Um, so I threw it a tiny bit higher and it crested that little hill right there, and we we got a putt. Yeah, it doesn't look as crazy as it actually is from this angle, but from the tee pad, you have such a small gap to hit. There's two gaps, the inside and the outside. That's the outside gap. Oh, that was looking great. Yeah, I was but tracking right for the basket. so many trees to hit, and there's OB on both sides, so this one's pretty tricky. Uh, Taxa tries to too. sneak through the inside gap, but hits that last barrier tree. Even that, though, is like a 40-footer or so. Yeah. Woo! Zoe so does successfully get through that inside gap, but has a little too much heat on it. Circle's edge deep. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Kristen! Kristen! That was beautiful. Crushed that putt. She's one of my favorite p people to play with and just watch her lines and her angles that she throws. She's so smooth. She's just has like perfect form mm -hmm. and when her thr when her putts on she's not missing a putt Zoe with her dagger from circle's edge deep oh. Oh. just left side a little bit too high I think if that was flatter it would have stuck but a little hyzer and left side it's gonna fall out Tina no problem though <laughs> Kills it on the putting ring. What's your putting percentage? Or like oh. your putting rank? Probably yeah. top five. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. I think my longer putts are better than my short putts, we honestly. Scope this out. Circle two putting. Since I started starfish putting with it. Tina! I asked her how she felt about laying one to the gap and maybe, maybe, maybe I could try to go for the gap, but I pull it a little right. But my partner absolutely gave me the best green light I could have ever asked for on this hole. That's the best shot I threw all weekend, actually, on that hole. Really? <laughs> yeah, I scrambled at the other end. Kristen actually goes for this in the tournament. I don't go for this hole at all. I think this one is absolutely a par four. There's no chance of... I think if I throw this hole 20 times, I get in in the circle once. Yeah. It's and 480 and super hidden. And yeah. you really have to throw a perfect placement shot. Your get. first 300 feet are open, you think? 300 and then like 180 into the gap? Yeah, about yeah. that. Yeah. Uh -oh. But if so you if get you... anywhere over on the right, it's the hardest shot to get in there. And going over the top or through it is barely an option. Yeah. It's dangerous. Yeah, Sarah, if you don't here. land right where Sarah did, give or take 20 feet, um, <laughs> you are yes. absolutely looking at a four. Oh boy! Come on, still run it. Yes, Marshall. As you can see, this this basket is completely guarded. So, you know, even if you get in that gap, it's pretty hard to get in the circle. But we threw the same disc, right? Yeah, we like, did. So we had the same. We did <laughs> same stamp and everything. We actually <laughs> traded those. <laughs> we did. Nantucket, I threw hers, and. Threw it in from like 200 feet, so, <laughs> so we traded. <laughs> Poke him with a backhand approach, soft putter and hyzer. Kind of leaves it a little bit too nose up and it starts to hyzer out into that tree. Yeah, from over there. Ooh, wow, that was a great run. I was just going to say you're pretty much just laying it up because it's just so hairy, but... Never mind. <laughs> Not for the lefty. <laughs> Not for cat cut. That looked great Kristen, too. Great height and everything, but an over commitment on the angle. That's that's a rare miss from that from now, I would say. Most people would under turn it over. Oh, 
And we all tap out with our threes. Um, if Katka and Kristen would have hit that for a two, that would have been a huge momentum shift and and just a, just an incredible <laughs> hold to get the birdie on, I think. So with all pars, nothing changes on the scoreboard, and we have one hole left in this front half of the course. Side arm. Is that that defender? It is, yes. It's a, it's a slightly beaten one, so I can... You got a mean roll, though. That's yeah. A good shot. That's your trespass. Tressy. Old Tressy. Biofusion. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what she's throwing here, but I remember she put a great turn on it, and I was super impressed by the shot. I thought it was going to be beautiful. <laughs> she was stoked about it. Gave Chris in the green light. One of the best Heiser flip throwers ever. So I was expecting her to do that. But she opts for the Heiser um, and leaves it quite a bit low. The grass doesn't really give you a skip out here. So. Well, it just rained a bunch. So everything's yeah. really sticky. <laughs> yeah, we had fun on this hole. There's a lot going on. I remember that. Oakham loves it, as would anybody. Almost ace run is uh, pretty good. Zoe mentioned that she couldn't throw with the hat on anymore, but she was going to stay in spirit. But on the tee pad, she was going to take the hat off. So I knew she was in for business on that one. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Tina doesn't like missing. I don't know if you guys know this or not. And I thought I made that one. <laughs> I was like, it's okay, partner. I can hit it's one like for one. Quarter of an inch low. Like, not even yeah. a whole inch. Great birdie. Nice yeah. Had a great drive. Great putt. Absolutely deserved yeah. two after that shot. So um, so unfortunate skip away, but when you make 25 footers, it's all good. Easy work for the putting world champion. I thought that was me for a second. This is, <laughs> you already walked to the next hole actually, and I was like, okay, you gotta make this. Like, She's I barely <laughs> missed that putt by like half an inch or less, yeah, and it rolls to like 50 a 20 feet. Yeah, 20 feet. Oh, I was looking for my whale sack. I lost it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs>